So this is a project I just started. It's a 70s Slingerland Concert Tom set. Uh, I saw it online about a year and a half ago. Uh, really inexpensive. Anytime I see uh, an inexpensive vintage kit from any of the major manu US manufacturers back then, I'll run and grab it for parts at the very least. Sometimes I'm able to make a kit out of it. Sometimes um, it's just too far gone and it's just a parts kit. So this one is 12, 13, 16, 22. Unfortunately, somebody already added Gretsch bottom lugs to the 13. And I'm gonna be double heading the 12 and the 16. Um, and unfortunately those Gretsch lugs are different hole spacing. So where I'm modifying this kit, and it's not a very valuable kit to begin with, I don't want to um, go plug in holes or have plugged holes in it and stuff like that. Um, not that there's anything wrong with that. I, I know people do plug holes all the time, and I've plugged a couple holes myself. Um, just, I like to keep things um, as unaltered as possible and I always use the same parts as the brand is brand of the kit um, I don't mix match brand parts on kits um, so what I've done so far is I've already stripped the wrap off of the the 16 and the 22 and I'm getting ready to do the 12 now, unfortunately, this wrap was uh, completely toast. It was split. It was all shrunken. Um, I can show you up closer how much it's shrunk. You can see there's little, Slingland used these little screws to, for the bottom aluminum ring on the concert toms. And you can see it's pulled off of that screw, probably a, a good quarter of an inch. And there was splits in the wrap. The bass drum and the, the floor tom had crazy splits in it and just all bubbled up and everything else. So what I'm gonna do is strip this kit, um, finish stripping it. There's a beautiful layer of mahogany underneath this wrap. And you'll find that with a lot of slinglins from the 60s and 70s as they use the, the mahogany out apply. I'm not quite sure what I'm gonna do with this yet. Um, I know I'm gonna leave it wood. I may end up adding a stain to it. I already have a natural mahogany kit. And um, so I'm not quite sure what I'm going to do with the finish yet, but um, I just figured I'd show you guys, give you a little tutorial on how I remove the wrap. Um, it's not rocket science. There's other videos out there on it. Um, I just figured I'd, I'd show you guys. So uh, let me get the camera a little bit closer so you can see exactly what I'm doing. And uh, like I said, it, it, it's really simple. It's time consuming though. You can see that's the pile of wrap from the uh, the 16 and the 22. Again, this, this mahogany is beautiful. It hasn't seen the light of day in 50 years. Let me get you guys situated so you can, you can see. And it's, like I said, it's really simple. It's just a heat gun and a, a putty knife and a little patience. You just take your heat gun. Keep it about, uh, probably about six, eight inches away. And then just go back and forth. And you can feel the wrap getting more pliable. What you definitely don't want to do is just rip this off without heating it up somehow. Um, you can rip a good chunk out of that outer ply really easily. So you just take your heat gun and you just keep working it back and forth and pulling.
So again, definitely just don't go ripping the wrap off. It'll it'll damage the auto ply. You got to use some kind of heat, whether it's an iron or or a heat gun. Um, and I get you. You can see right there how much that wrap is shrank. It pulled right out of the screw. Um, so that's it for today. I just figured I'd uh, I'd show you guys what I'm up to. And uh, I'll try to keep you updated on this kit as I'm going. I'll leave you with this. Be patient. Take your time. I didn't have to use the putty knife on this as the, the seam was already bubbled up. But start with the seam. Heat it up. Slide your putty knife in there till you get a good amount out you can grab. And then heat, pull until you feel a little resistance. Heat, pull until you feel a little resistance until you've worked your way all the way around the drum. These outer plies can be very dry and brittle to begin with and uh, very delicate. Um, if you're heating it up and you see any smoke, you're too close. Back up a little bit. Um, I would not recommend doing this inside like I am unless you have some experience. Some of these old wraps can be very flammable and uh, that drum will go up in a second on you. So I'd recommend doing it outside with a fire extinguisher handy so you don't ruin the drum and uh, outside so you don't burn your hose down. I, I am going to work on some lighting down here. I apologize if the glare off my head blinded anybody out there. Uh, as usual, thanks for watching. If you like this content, please like, subscribe, uh, comment, all that fun stuff. And I appreciate it. Thank you, people.